The detainees in Guantanamo are there, most of them, for over a decade, which is a very long time in terms of detention. Important for us is that we can have an impact on the lives and conditions of detention and that we can have an impact on the family link that is missing, uh, that we can re-establish or establish for, for these detainees. One aspect is family messages and the other one is video conference. I have seen personally one of these video conference calls and what was striking uh, is a whole family on the other side and have them see their dad, their husband or their brother and have a short conversation on what happens in their lives, uh, who got married, who has had a good harvest, who had a bad one. These day-to-day -day problems for the family are very important for the, for the detainees to hear, not to lose touch uh, with the reality as well. Now, on impact, if you asked a detainee, you'd probably say, 100 visits and I'm still here. Uh, or 100 visits, but um, I still cannot see my, my family in, in person. Uh, 100 visits and I still have no idea why am I actually detained. What is definitely important over the last year is that something has moved in the prison population. So the, the recent transfers that have happened illustrate that something um, is taken uh, seriously, that the people that have been cleared for transfer years ago have the chance slowly to be transferred and that gives also another dynamic uh, in, um, in, in the camp. Some people ask us why do you put so much effort into the Guantanamo uh, detention place. We believe it's a, a detention facility that has a global impact and so many families in so many different countries that are affected by it. And it has also a heavy historic weight. It stands for a lot of things for many people. We are the only humanitarian organization that is allowed to visit Guantanamo. So our commitment stays and our commitment goes on.